All right, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of GTA Five. Hope everybody's having a great day today. So we're gonna we're gonna jump right into this, guys. Last episode we got two heists done. Uh, I want to actually check the map right now. Uh, kind of get reacquainted where we left off. Now we did do the stock market. Um, Okay, we're good. We did do the stock market for all our characters. Increased their money quite a bit. All right. So, as you guys can see right now, we don't actually have a whole lot going on. We cleaned up the map pretty good last episode with all the uh, Stranger and Freaks quests. We still have a couple left for Franklin. Uh, but, yeah, next all we have is this main mission here for Michael. We got we to gotta get this mission done. Yeah, you know, I actually never got Michael a haircut. Let's go, uh, let's go get Michael a haircut, and some of you guys were pointing out in the comments that I gotta get my, uh, car out of the impound. My white one. But when I went to the impound yard, I don't think I seen it. Okay, so it's not in there. So let me head over to, uh, whoops. All right, that's what happens. Let me head over to the impound yard really quick. Get my damn car out of there. <clears throat> it's a nice jester right there, guys. We'll come back for it. I don't want to like get in it and like risk despawning my car out of the impound. You fucking dick. I wonder if you can buy jesters. I don't recall seeing them on the uh, on the website. So does the owning of cars and despawning and stuff work the same way online too? Do they just despawn? Or... When you buy cars, is it a little different? It's on the cheap website? So I feel like if you go spend like 1.2 million dollars on a vehicle and then... It despawns that fat. That feels real bad. <laughs> I don't remember which one was mine. There it is. Okay, it was a Feltzer. All right, so we got it, chat. We got our impounded vehicle. A little low to the ground. Alright, so now we're gonna head out. We'll get Michael a haircut. What's what store is this? This is a Binko. Suburban. Let's check this place right here. Need to go to the car wash. Car's all dirty. Mm. 
Yeah, Michael's got a lot of money, guys. Almost a mil. Yeah, that looks like a nice store. Have I gone golfing yet? No, not yet. We did do the tennis. The tennis was actually really cool. Uh, but we haven't done any other sports yet. Let me know if you see something you like. Yeah, this is definitely a freaking nice store. Probably get Franklin in here, right? You should try it on. Hmm. You are like super dressy. You know, we'll go with the pale blue. It's chill. Not too much over the top. Take as long as you like. So all black Oxfords. Yeah, those are comfortable, don't they, chat? Those look extra comfortable. Hey, Pat, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, will I be playing uh, Horizon Forbidden West DLC, new DLC? I will be trying to check it out, Bad. I got to figure out what I'm doing, though, because I haven't played the game in, like, well over a year. Um, and trying to jump into it would be a headache and a half, just trying to get reacquainted with the guns and the, or the arrows and the, all that stuff. Um, so yeah, that's the only reason why I haven't checked it out yet. Yeah, leather jacket. They got this nice store. Got some expensive stuff in here. Bye. Enjoy your purchase. All right. So we're looking. We're looking fancy right now. Do want to go see if we can get Michael a haircut? Barber actually right around the corner. I wonder if the Jester is more expensive than this car. Cause I, if anything, I'll have I'll I'll buy the Jester for Franklin if it's a good race car. Yes, ma'am. Do you know how you want it done? Uh, it's cheap and it's one of the fastest, faster cars in the game. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to look into that then. Yeah, if it's so, he's rocking the Lexington right now. <laughs> Go bald, clipper cut, grown out. I mean, right now we could trim it down a little bit for Michael. Best work yet. <laughs> oh man, Andy, holy crap, brother, with the five gifted memberships, man. Thank you, thank you. How you doing today, brother? Uh, everybody who receives one of the memberships, welcome to the fam. Uh, it's so kind of you, man. What about Michael with a beard? Actually, I don't, you know, I, I actually kind of like the stubble on him. For right now. Anytime. All right, let's go uh, do this mission now.
I'm telling you guys, when I get when I when I do get online, I'm gonna have the nicest cars. The nicest cars. Probably dress up the skyline at some point, right? Uh, Jeremy with the seven, brother. Thank you so much. Love the stream. Thank you again, Andy, for the hey, uh, Andy out here showing that love, man. I see you at the spot, big homie. Please do a side by side of um, myself and Michael. I don't look nothing like Michael. At least I don't think so. It's a nice car, too. Actually, got some speed to holy crap. Whoa. You're just not going to open a gate? Hello? Hey man, do your job, bro. See that gun? Uh, respect. Uh, put armor on the cars to protect from bullets. Yeah, I, I actually never looked at the price of the armor for the cars. Here we go. Shirley, how you doing today? Uh, King of Kings, how you Hello. doing? Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston, did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. Big Mike, thank All you right. for the super chat, man. So what's it Again, about? Again, I do appreciate it, brother. It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. With lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now... He's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself who knows where. All right. 
Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already! <laughs> there it is. <clears throat> Alright, let me see. So what are my gun situation looking like? We gotta get Michael over to the gun store, actually. Get his guns... ...dressed up a little bit. <clears throat> hey, lock and load with the raid, brother. Thank you so much, man. How you doing tonight? I appreciate that, brother. Thank you, thank you. Alright, we're gonna swing by the gun store on our way over really quick. <laughs> Get Michael some body armor. I don't, I, I don't know if I'm gonna have to kill anybody in this mission. I... Hey, Solomon. I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped? No, God, no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well. If you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts. So if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right. I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. There it is. Oh, man. Andy, holy crap, brother, with another if five. Advice, I am a weapons expert. Another five. Get the members, dude. Thank you so much. I Everybody, welcome we to the family. Make sure you guys get those uh, hearts in the chat. Andy out here showing that love, dude. So kind of you. And we're already at almost 200 likes on the stream. You guys are insane. I killed a dolphin with one of those. So I got this AP pistol. Fully oh, I'll give you a good deal on that. Hmm. I'm not a huge fan of full auto like guns like that. This combat pistol is actually pretty damn accurate. Let's grab that. We'll throw a suppressor on it. Extended clip. Okay. I'll bet you'll be ready to use that the second you get out the door. Okay, so that's fully dressed. Well, that's that assault shotgun. That thing's actually quite nice. But no, thank you. Um, I don't like people getting too close. A platinum tin. Now, Michael doesn't have a sniper. Oh, he does, but I don't think you can... Yeah, you can't suppress the heavy. <clears throat> Alright, we'll roll with that for right now. Now you are prepared against government tyranny. What's the shotgun to the right of it? Oh, you're talking about the SMG? Because, yeah, this is the assault shotgun. This actually looked quite nice. You know what? Let's grab that. We'll grab that. Ooh. Actually came out really nice. Yeah, I'll try that out at some point. I, did, I forgot you could suppress them. So, yeah, now we got all types of guns. Salt shoddy, we got the heavy sniper, 
Oh, we got our carbine. We got the combat SMG. Or the MG and the SMG. Combat pistol. Oh, some grenades. Yeah, we're, we're... We're decked out, guys. We're ready to go. Uh, but lock and load again. Thank you so much, brother. I really appreciate the support, man. You don't know how much that means, brother. Yo, this car is fast, man. And it's not even like acceleration wise, it's got ridiculous top end. And this is stock. I don't know if you can upgrade it all that much, but stock, it's it's pretty insane. Hundred percent armor is sixteen thousand dollars. This shit, it might stop a missile. That's a beauty right there. Let's keep a carbon fiber. I don't know what color yet. We'll figure out once I figure out what color I want the car to be. Think about maybe going with like a red. I think I might roll with the red. My thing is, I in real life, I absolutely love uh, Oh, see that's a nice deep red right there. Lava red. Grace red. Red. Sunset red. I think I like this Grace is pretty good. The 
this one is this is just clean. Um, I'm more of a white or black car. Like in real life, that's like my my go-to. Can I do pearlescent? No. It's gotta be metallic. Oh, is this talking about the roof? Actually I don't I don't mind the roof being black. We'll see if this is Yeah. Let's see. If we do the whole thing red. Hmm. I actually don't mind it when it's all red. I don't know. I kind of like the little pop of black, too. I'm going to change the hood really quick. I'm not feeling the carbon fiber anymore. The only problem is if I change the hood, right? You got great that's considered a secondary color, isn't it? So I'd end up having to change the roof to red if I wanted the hood to be red, but... Well, I feel like that looks kind of okay, but then kind of... Meh. Because now that's just too much red. Yeah, so we'll leave it. Uh, I'm just going to change this back to the uh, carbon fiber. I don't know. I actually kind of like it. It's a little weird looking, but... The all red was... It, it took away all the little black accents, you know what I mean? That's the only reason why I didn't like it. I, I just like having, you know, the little pops of black all over the place. But then the issue is the now the whole hood is, so we're going to change the hood back to carbon fiber so it doesn't look wicked weird. But I don't know. I kind of, nah, you know what? I, I, I like the, I, I like the black hood over that. Yeah, we'll keep it like that. All right. Uh, we got the lights already. The roll cage in there. that one. I'll rock this one the high level. This one is kind of eh looking. I don't know. I, I like the shape of this one a little bit better. I think. No, I kind of like the tuner wing. The big one is just ridiculous looking. This one still sits nice and low. That's pretty clean too though. I'll go with the high uh, turbo tuner wing. I might end up switching that. I, I, I'm not 100% sold on that. There's two of them that I was kind of feeling, but... Let's go with that competition. Suspension. Transmission. Race. The turbo. Yo, this thing's going to be... <laughs> this car is going to be so fast. 
wheel type. So the high ends are nice. I actually like the deep dishes a little bit. I don't like the pattern. I like the deep fact. Oh, those are pretty nice too. I'm obviously going to change it. You know, let me change the color of them first. Um, so I'll grab a set that I think look pretty decent, and I'm, I'm going to change the color of them. Because once you change the color of your rims, you can see all of the rims in that color. Alright, so I'm going to change the color of them to black. Oh, maybe... Should I, should I get real... Nah, I don't know about... What do you guys think about red rims? I mean, it looks kind of cool. Right? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no, don't do it. I, feel like I, oh, I mean, black is obviously like goes with the rest of the accents. Chrome is, is not going to work, though, chat. Not with this setup. Or like rolling aloe or chrome, it's it's too much. It's got it's got to be either black or like the red. So let me see if there's any other wheel types that I might like a little more than this. I don't know, I think these rims look pretty good, but Hmm, those are pretty clean too. Actually, I think I like those ones better, the Super G. Rims, those are nice. Yeah, Super G is nice. Got some nice depth to them. Even those are nice, too. I still think the Super G ones are nicer. Solar, nice. So I'll run the Super G ones. Those are nice rims. All right, there it is, guys. Uh, let's do the tires. We're going to go bulletproof tires. We'll get the red tire smoke. And we'll throw the customs on there. Get that limo tint. Definitely not Michael's type of car. This is more of a Franklin car, but this is a Brian car. All right. Like I drive to shit. Like I would love to have a car like this in real life. <laughs> oh, that's what you see. You see the smoke.
What am I gonna? Uh, I'll upgrade Trevor's stuff the next time we play with him. Those cars fast, chat. There it is. See, I'd buy I'd buy a GTR in real life and and but they're they're absolutely astronomically like house expensive. Oh, I forgot to change the color of the underglow. I'll never be able to afford a car like that, Javier. That those things are insane, dude. How you like this space? It's gonna be an EDM paradise. There's gonna be sparklers stuck in bottles, implants, tramp stamps, all the real shit. That's Pelosi Entertainment. Now give me a minute here. Just a minute. I gotta go grab something inside. Yanni, we nearly got the club. We're finally a go. Now you take care of these guys. No cold feet. Okay? Let's go. Reach the helipad without alerting them. Hey man, you're getting a little close to my car there, brother. What are you what are you doing? Butt lovers? You better not chat. So we just got sneak in here, right? Dad, I'm glad you guys have both hey, Molly, thank you so much for the donation. I really appreciate that. Well, no armor on your cars. Uh, nope, that, that was the one from Big Mike. That's Rocco from You've seen the, movies, right? it's the, the Ballad Gay Tony? Molly Pie donated $10. Thank you for your dedication to giving us countless hours of entertainment. Catching your streams is always the highlight of my day. Hey, Molly, thank you so much. for that. I really appreciate it. That, that's so kind of you. Okay, we got to get to that ladder right there. I see it. I tried to give him a chance. I mean, it was my, my fault. I made a bunch of noise and the guys turned around, but. It's hard to tell with these mob guys, you know. I don't know if he actually wants to turn it into a club or, you know, burn it down and claim the insurance money. Seen the movies, right? It's the kind of scam they run. The idea is rock the guy is so stupid. He wants to do both. <laughs> Sorry, brother. It's nothing personal, man.
I, I mean, I should have knocked him out. It's too late now, Chad. I can't. Can't undo what's already been done. So thank you so much. Hey, I really, really, really appreciate the super chat. You were uh, you were a truck driver. You have to try Mud Runner and Snow. I actually uh, looked at those games the other day. The Mud Runner and Snow the Snow Runner looked hardcore, man. Hey, you are. Mr. Richards has been worried sick. Oh, who's this? Who's this jackass? Hey, you. Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, Rocco! There it is, brother. Come on. Always makes me wanna use. Come on, show us what you got. Come on. Ooh, almost. Oh, shit. A good hit in there, brother. You got a good hit in. I'll go. There it is. Come on, Rocco. You were a tough guy in GTA 4, remember? You don't get smarter with age. Remember? Do you want me to call the studio? Who are we rooting for? The gray one or the orange one? Ah. Ah. Yeah. All right, spray tan. We're gonna make a new deal. You leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. All right, yeah. Okay. Sure, man. Sure. All right. Damn, what happened to Rocco? Yo, Let's he was. Get back to the lot. He was, like, he acted like a tough guy at least quite a bit in uh. In GTA 4. Got to plug in the controller. Uh, but again, Mosi, yeah, uh, I really appreciate that. I did look into those two games uh, when you guys brought them up last time. Uh, SnowRunner, like I or yeah, I think it was SnowRunner, looked a little hardcore. You know, a lot of off-road driving and stuff like that, but uh, hold, hold on. yeah, it still looked cool. There we go. You can bully him, but you can't bully talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully talent? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are. Just jumped up to studio security? I ain't security. I'm Solomon's assistant. It's not too late. you <laughs> oh some good pilot in chat chat hey um flight school paid off in the end didn't it
I know Solomon is anxious to see you. Look, I'm feeling a little keyed up. How about I call my guy, go on a little jolly, and call Solomon from wherever I wake up in, in a week? How about you see him right now, and we go flying again if you even look like you'll fail a piss test at any point on this shoot? Look around, dude. I'll... Michael's in that mood. Start putting people to sleep. <laughs> what a wonderful surprise. Anton, my boy. You're an artist, I know that. And this hey. story is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip. I love ya. So, Solomon. Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Ah, uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I, I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Well, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. Whew. Ah! Hell yeah. All right, Mike's excited. Hey, Mr. Madrazo. How's that rebuild going? Good. I need to see you. Come to La Fuerta Blanca, my ranch off Senora Road, and bring Mr. Clinton. Hey, look. Franklin? I hardly know the kid. I don't want him caught up in this. You'll need another pair of hands. All right, there's another guy. Trevor Phillips. Me and him are partners. Okay. I'll have my people messenger him. Uh-oh. So my car um, that we just took on that mission is now gone, right? It's over wherever I left it, so I gotta I gotta go pick it up from the. So anytime like I leave, I have my car, and I have to leave it, you know, to get in a plane or something like that. That then uh, you just gotta go to the uh, impound, right? At any point, and I can pick it back up there. That's what I'm tracking. Get a cab here as soon as possible. No problem. I'll have one there in a couple of minutes. Okay, thanks for your help. Um, any plans to do more Sunset Forest? Oh, of course. So we're just waiting for updates. Um, I, I've explained it a couple times, but uh, the way that they're piecemealing the updates together, uh, I think it's better for me to just wait until they release a bunch of updates instead of us playing like a little bit at a time. That way we can kind of experience it all at once you know because some of the updates aff affect the early game some of them affect the mid game some of them affect the late game um so at that point uh it's really annoying to like okay well this update only addresses you know the the mid game and i'm at the end game or it only addresses the end you know so instead of having to bounce all around we're just gonna wait and then uh check it all out once they you know a handful of updates come out Where the hell is the, uh... You can't pick the impound lot? I think if I put a waypoint, I could... If I put a waypoint, I can have him go to said waypoint. Hey, my man, where you going? Yep. Mission row. Hey, we're here. Crazy. Yeah, this this car this car was in the garage. It's so much easier without them. Yeah, if you say so. Why is there two of the same car? 
Okay, so this is gonna be a Madrazo mission with Trevor, I think he said. But I don't understand what the hell Madrazo's. Ooh, yeah, we gotta change that underglow for real. <laughs> um. Yeah, we gotta go do that mission with uh, Madrazo and. But I don't see, we, we already paid him off, so what the hell could he possibly want? Like, he has nothing on us. There we go. Right, let's go see what Madrazo has for us. To be fair, so we gotta show fairness. It's like, oh shit! Like, I didn't. What did I even do to warrant this? Great. We'll see if the popo can keep up. Now, absolutely smoking them. Car's not too bad, though. There we go. All right, let's head back.
I mean, I wouldn't say it's road rage. They, they hit me, chat. Like they, and they started it. Chris, thank you for the super chat, brother. I appreciate you, man. All right. I mean, I I, I agree, chat. You know, they, they hit my car. I didn't have to shoot them. Shooting them wasn't the answer. You're, you're right. I, I, I apologize. I should I should have handled that a little better. I should have just blew their car up and said no reason for me to kill them. I'll, I'll use this as a learning experience and going forward we'll approach the situations a little better. Damn. this it's a thing you said you wanted work this is work uh-huh and who's the guy you'll see Trevor my man yes. hi <laughs> oh hello we're looking for mr. Madrazo Patricia, for fuck's sake, just let him in. right this way gentlemen <laughs> Patricia get us something to drink with you Quickly! Hey, good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, it's my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So, what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazo? Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. The He's... truth. Martin is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. <sighs> but some people. <laughs> They no longer fear me as much as they used to. People who wear clothes to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you met in Michael. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. Huh? By you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. Or does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier, he's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. And he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down and get the files back. A man, what's up, hey? A man, what's up, hey? Come on. You still want to drink? Not now! Pendeja! Que no ves que estoy hablando con las gentes aquí? All right. You grab a vehicle, something versatile. I'll handle the gun. All right! You need anything, get me on the headset. There's no way people don't think Tre like I'm not saying like Trevor is like as a person is good like at all chat like that's not what I'm getting at but like when I say Trevor is the best GTA character I mean he's just done so well like his personality that he I don't know it just comes through you're like yo this dude they really did a good job writing this character um He's an absolutely insane psychopath individual, but just when it comes to like video game characters, Trevor is probably one of the best, not just in Grand Theft Auto, just in gaming general. Like 
Like, yeah, exactly. Trevor is GTA. When you think of like what a player does when they play Grand Theft Auto, going around killing random people and just doing like, you know, absolute carnage. Trevor is that embodied into a character. It's absolutely insane. But then the crazy thing is, is he is psycho, but then he's also mega loyal. Like, he is actually pretty loyal to the people he actually cares about. Yeah, okay, well, I ain't at the observatory yet. Start heading that way. By the way, I know why you took me there. To that guy's house? Understood. Understood what? That he's a terrifying psycho and that you might have that in common? What is it? We gotta work for him. We don't gotta work for anyone, but I read you, man, loud and clear. What are you talking about? All that Aztec stuff. Those weird little artifacts. What? Fertility statues, whatever. The guy has trouble getting it up. We'll clear two, three million on those. Easy. Perverts will pay anything for hope. We weren't casing the joint. We didn't agree to a fee for this job. So what's it all about? Okay. The guy lives well. That don't mean we're robbing him. But it does mean he's got money to pay people who help him. When the time comes, he'll do the right thing. If he don't, please, let me handle it. You don't get a wife like that without being rich and an asshole, right? The fuck? Ooh, got away from me a little bit there. I see the van with the gun in it. You nearby? Not far out. Yeah, I'll definitely Shoot be playing Dead Island 2 for sure. And I'll be ready. What? What the hell kind of gun is it? Oh shit. If you could see this gun, it might convince you Martin Madrazo ain't someone to be messing with. The fancier the gun, the bigger the pussy who owns it. Now take down the jet. I don't see nothing yet. I got her. Southwest of the city. Gotta shoot in front to compensate for the speed of the jet. Ah, shit! This. Hey, you see it? Plane's coming down. Can you stay with it? Oh, I am so sorry. I'm plugged into the air traffic control channel. Keep me updated. Yep, keep talking. There you go. Rob, thank you for the you super chat, you brother. Clear two lanes of traffic. And I'm free. This is flight November 9 or Charlie Echo. Our engine number two is blown. Roger, November 9 Charlie Echo. Fly at 240. Take your on board. The pilot's fighting it, but he 
Put it down on the road, dude. Ron, you better be working! Okay, this guy is going down any minute. Good. Let's hope he'll take out some poor farmer while he's at it. Only thing they farm out here is methamphetamine. Ah, Trevor Phillips country. God, I miss it out here! You gotta come visit sometime. Yeah, you know what? I'm good. Losing altitude rapidly. I'm going to have to bring it down in dirt. God help us. Roger, remember 9 and Charlie Echo. What is your status? God help us. <laughs> God help us. They're in the dirt. Good. Get the files. And if the cousin made it, take him out. Sure thing. But seriously, bro, coming all the way out here, we got to get paid. Just do the job. I'll get us paid down the road. I'm working with the government. Oh, you gotta help us. Madrezzo and explain the human cost of this errand. No, oh, take it easy, man. Listen to me. We'll talk about that later. I want you to just drop off the files. I gotta get rid of this rifle, then we'll talk. There it is. That's not overkill, chat. Yeah, when you're on a hit. When you're on a hit, you got to make sure. All right, there's no like. The last thing you want to do is not finish the job. You know what I mean? Get out the car, brother. Gave you a chance. I gave him a chance, chat. He decided to run. Woo! 
Uhu. What? There's been a change of plans. You don't need to come to the ranch. Meet me at Stoner Cement Works. A little up Sonora Road from there. What are you doing, Trevor? Nothing you wouldn't do. Trevor! Trevor! Ah. What's he got us doing? Do. No, I don't believe that. Not my crutch, I don't care. This thing's a little squirrely. Ooh, it's a little squirrely. These roads are a little narrow. I know you guys seen that car turn right into me. So this is what happens when I just let it go, chat. When I just when I just drive naturally. This is a this is a a Brian in its natural environment. <laughs> in its natural habitat. Where you get that truck from, bro? Uh, the fuck has happened? Why do you have his car? Man, that piece of turd, huh? No wonder people are stabbing him in the back. What happened? Cheap bastard. You know, I really don't know why you mess around with people like that, Mike. I mean, really, I Tom! don't. Answer fucking question. I asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work. Then he kind of got a little angry. So I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. Oh, shit. What the fuck did you do? Oh, I just told you what I just did. Now. Oh, shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're gonna have to lay low for a little while while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you hop in the back? All right, now, Patricia, she already called shotgun. <laughs> now, I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can hang out, you know, it's a, a very relaxing oh. little spot. Little Andy getaway, with the five gifted brother, thank you so much, you man. Why would he do that, chat? What the fuck is wrong with him? Come on. Come on. So Michael and Trevor are laying low? So we're, we're playing Franklin, baby. Good boy. What's up, Chop? So now we are strictly Franklin. Brought Chop out to the out to the park. Oh, look at it. Yeah, so it's, come on, Chop. Let's go for a walk.
Come on, chop. Stop looking at his dog. Run up on him, chop. No, don't run up on him, chop. Come on. Let's just go get. Let's go get the bike, chop. I wanted to see if the dogs were going to interact. And they, 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 they don't. Chat. Okay. So first things first, let's figure out what the hell we're doing. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. Uh, we moved up here. Oh, well, came back over this way because that's where my bike was, but it despawned. Hold tab. Oh, for the ball. Oh, look at that. Chop. You ready, chop? Go get it. Get it. Go on. All right, man, you cool. Go get the ball, chop. You hood, chop. The chop is a fetching master, guys. How much money Franklin needs to I mean we got some money with Franklin. Get the ball for me, boy. You know, I, I might actually de get, get Franklin uh Might spend a little bit of money on him right now. We do got that other Lester mission we could do. Get some investments in that. That's trio, homie. Ooh, you got lucky, brother. Let's get back home. Uh, I think I might knock out that Lester mission really quick because we can we can invest all the money, get all the extra money from. Well, I'm not gonna do Lester's missions at the end of the game because what point does that matter if I if all my characters have a ton of money at the end of the game? Because I'm just gonna go play online. I'm never gonna play the story again. So having multi millionaire story characters is irrelevant in my opinion um i'd rather just have the money to spend throughout the playthrough you know buy stuff because yeah i'm not like them being rich at the end doesn't really matter yeah, we don't even have any cars over here what the hell Home, boy. Oh, I yeah, I can't switch to Michael and Trevor, can I? No, yeah. So we'll we'll hold off then. We'll hold off then. Uh, let's get some clothes. Actually, probably I, I kind of want to go out and get Franklin some new clothes. A few things I want to check. So let's check the price of that car. So we're looking for the jester, right? So this looks like a jester, but like a tricked out version of it. Remember to invest before starting any other Lester missions. Not for sure. That's that's the plan. That's the plan. So they got the Dinka jester here. But they don't have like a regular jester. Oh, but Andy, thank you so much, brother, for the super chat. I really do appreciate it, man. Mm. 
Hmm. Look down the other shop. These cars are so expensive. <laughs> what? Yeah, there's only two car sites. It's the... Yeah, the problem is that that thing's expensive. We can't even afford it, 350000 It's all good. Could get the Comet. How much is that? Yo, the comet's really not that bad. 85 grand? Man, yeah, it's pretty bad, but yeah, it's actually quite bad. Not what I'm thinking about. Never mind. We'll just roll with what we have. I need a cab as soon as possible. I'm sending one out right now. I'll be here. Okay, so... It's Michael. That's Devin. Lester. So we'll do... Devin. We gotta finish Franklin's car jobs. That's the ride, my man. Hey, Molly. I'm outside the studio. All right. Go over the wall and find the car on the lot. And then what? Only the principal actors and stunt people are authorized to go near it. So, you could get in wardrobe and play the part or try something else. All right. When you're out of there and clear of studio security, call me. I have to tell you, I'm allergic. Do you understand? Do you understand? And now listen to me. Just get the fuck out of here. I'm sick of looking at your face, Tina. Oh. La la la. Ha ha. Shut the fuck up. They need you on set. Where the hell is Brandon? Jesus! Are you gonna find him? Someone's gonna find him! 
I thought I had final approval on all stunt performers. At least get him a mask. Nice clean ass nice car. Or something. What's this like a Bond car? Ready out, sir. No. didn't sign off on this hey, guy. Get him out. Step out of that car. You hit that. Wow, this shit actually shoots too. What is going on? What are you doing? Is this a kidnapping? Pull over, creepo! Get off the wheel! I need to get the fuck out of here! Studio security are shutting your ass down, Blacko! Seriously, lady? Be on us for long. I'm about to kill her, chat. Is this an abduction? No, you cool? No, I'm not cool. Not at all. I mean, chill out. I'm just interested in the whip. What's this? Spikes? What do you mean, the whip? I could buy this car with what I make in a morning. I think you underestimating the value of this automobile. Or overestimating your own talent. Damn, what's this button do? Uh, I think... I think you're underestimating what I get paid. You get paid... Thank you. That was the best button. If you have the car, bring it to Hayes Auto in South LS. Mr. West did his marathon training, but he can change his route and meet you there. Yeah, okay. Well, I got the car and it was messy. That's fine with us, but your associate, Michael DeSanta, has done some work at the studio and he might not be so happy. Yeah, yeah, whatever. What kind of shape is the car in? Well, whatever. We plan on refitting the guns to take live ammunition. Do the traffic spike and ejector seat need replacing too? The traffic spikes are still there, but you're gonna need a new seat. Good. One more thing. Mr. Weston's security detail are concerned about a suspicious figure near the garage. Let us know if you see something. Yeah, she was wicked annoying in the car. She kept pulling the damn... She survived, though. I'm pretty sure she was okay with after the ejector seat. She only went maybe 20 feet in the air. Developing quite the rep there, Slick. Insurance companies hate these kinds of claims. They don't like cats with the inside edge shorten them either. So how'd it go? Smooth enough, you know. Movie people. You know what the irony is? I'm a major shareholder in that same studio, so we just did is practically legal. Ha! Practically. Oh shit! Look at this motherfucker. You doing it big, my nigga, on the set. Lamar, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, chirped your boy Trevor. It's fucked up when you gotta get your GPS location on your homeboys through a motherfucking speed freak. True that. Devin Weston, master of the two-hour female orgasm. What it is, Holmes? Lamar Davies. He was just leaving. Hey, not on my account. You looking for gainful employment, homie? Hell yeah, I'm always trying to get some motherfucking paper. Just the type of guy I like to work with. Predictable. Hey, we could bring your boy here in on the last part of the shipment. Oh, yeah, nigga, that's exactly what you could do. That's exactly Hell what you yeah. could do right man, there, yeah, man. Exactly. If you want him in, then you get him to boost the rest of the shit you got. Oh. Give me my money and I can go on oh, with my motherfucking oh. life. Oh, no, am I sensing tension here, Slick? <gasps> He's the spirit, but you're the brains. Am I wrong? I can see it. Look, I need you on point when we move this stuff out of town. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. Call me when it's done. And after this, make sure we got our motherfucking check, all right? Ciao, baby. It is what it is. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, come here. I'm gonna put you in touch with my legal counsel. Hey, hey, don't touch me, homie. I don't get down like that. Yeah, let me tell you how the world works, Slim. Lamar, dude, really? Or over, way over here, I seen a just. What? Sorry, dude. I, I don't know why I hit that guy. It looked like he was about to attack me. So I, he was like, "Time to play," and then I just fucking reacted, you know. Thought he was gonna say something like time to pay the paper or something like you know what I mean? 
Can oh. I get a cab right away? Stay where you are. I got a driver right around the corner. Thank you. He was wasn't he coming at me, Chad? I I I will go back and watch that shit. I, I'm pretty sure he was he was coming at me. There's no reason I would just hit him for no reason. Rockford Hills. I'll get you there fast, buddy. He was eating a donut? No, he wasn't. <laughs> he left you no other option. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I felt I felt uh I felt like he was trying to attack me. This is the spot, right? Where you at, man? Your house is empty. Oh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for him, and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? <sighs> Desert, out by Alamo Sea. All right, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Uh, oh, hey. Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing. Nothing to say about that. Run! Run! I'm back! Coming, Trevor! Uh, bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! Who the hell's that, your maid? Oh, business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> Listen, beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. And, I, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined, then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? I, I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Meriwether. Mm, those assholes Big again. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to, uh, requisition it. Fantastic! Let's go! Come in. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. Now watch her, okay? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go! Ah. <sighs> The weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane over at the airstrip. But Great, right, let's go. Trevor, my man. Yeah, we got we got to get his uh, truck upgraded at some point. What are you going to do? Did somebody say that? Nope, still gone. We're not gonna take out a private army on the ground, Ron. We gotta meet him in the air. I, uh, well, okay. Well, I knew that you were pissed after the Merriweather heist, giving back the hardware. That was bullshit. Right, right. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Merriweather networks. Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. I gotta say, I got it. I was expecting something a little more impressive. The late, great Michael Townley. 
Not so late and not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not been terribly kind. What's the end game, man? We had a good thing going without him. If it's such a good thing, where's my money, huh? Where's my consultant's fee and my big fat dividend? I want a franchise network, Ron. I want reward cards and merchandise. I want to make gun violence and drug dependency accessible to every man and beast from Hove Beach to Vespucci. I want country clubs and a depressed wife with blonde hair and a hot little secretary. Just the plane I need to take on a heavily armed, tax-funded militia. Here we go. Call our guys south of the border. Tell them there's a fire sale. I'll get you on the radio. There it is. We have liftoff. Time for trouble. The Merriweather plane is in a holding pattern to the west. Try and keep under the radar. Air traffic's being monitored from the military base. All right, I'll fly them nice and low here. Probably not hit anything or get shot down. Cargo planes on my 12. They're gonna use those weapons for no good, T. They'll be better in our hands. There it is, chat. That was just a warm up. We're good. We got it now. I got the cargo plane right ahead of me. We got the weapons they're using to enslave us on board. If we could get a hold of them, oh my god.
There we go. How did I end up with four stars? And no explanation for it. You speak to Oscar, the Mexicans, this deal on? They're really okay to send some. Altitude corrected. Trying to hide's gonna draw attention. I'm in control of this. Crop Duster, just enjoying the beautiful San Andreas weather. Unidentified aircraft, divert your course or we will be forced to shoot you down. Really? Shoot me down? Well, that seems a little extreme, doesn't it? Why does this feel so bad? I was on my freaking controller. A big plane. Over. Run. Run, you there? I got the jet. You with the buyers? Welcoming parties here, Trevor. Fly safe now.
How the hell am I gonna land this? Looks like a problem. Attention, Mary Weather Jet. We're under orders to escort you to base. Change course or we will engage. Oh, are you? Good diddle yourself. Uh, Ron, I've got the fucking Air Force on me. They deploy jets? <sighs> Try and fly over them, T. We'll see if that helps. Any offensive action will be met with overwhelming retaliation. I'm landing at McKenzie Field. We can discuss this there, on the dirt, like men. High in the air, man. This is your final warning. Divert now or be engaged. Hey, you wouldn't shoot me down anyway. Think of the ground casualties. Authorization process complete. Clear to engage. There it is. Or plane. Oh, the the buns, baby. I forgot about the damn buns. Um. Is is your mom still here? Or did she already leave? down I survived and lizard army didn't do so well so that's something ah oh, thank God the fuselage went into the Alamo sea you might be able to salvage the hardware with dive gear or something well, we got the we do got the oh, sub good idea but it'll take time tell Oscar he ain't getting these guns okay look I gotta ask are you in with the federal government an agent Sanchez was round here saying you and Michael had to meet his supervisors at the garage the cook site. Fuck, I gotta do this, okay? But I'm using them, all right? They, they ain't using me. Let's make that clear. It's nice here. I'm saying if, if, if I, I can go grab them after the stream, but it would be like pretty late. 
Um, but I was just saying if she wanted to go grab it for us, but if not, it is what it is. The Bureau. Oh, diving gear, not a sub. So to say, I thought Trevor still had the submarine, right? All right, so we're going to finally go customize Trevor's truck. Thank you. Buy a certain property. Unlock uh, the boat with the diving gear. wonder what property that would be. That's the airfield. Sonar collection docks, maybe? Uh, but I've been absolutely enjoying the hell out of this game. And guys, thank you for... We almost got 500 likes on the stream. I really appreciate it. Oh, wasn't this place closed last time I came here? Okay, it's open. Here for the magic touch. All right, so we'll do armor. Stops on a dime. Seriously. Now that's a custom job. was a woman, I'd guess her. Give me some more zip. Get the bulletproof tires. They won't shoot these out. Those Raider rims are... Why are those so expensive? Holy crap. $55,000 for some rims? This is the resin man. Copy. Thanks. Keep the color.
Oh, it's fast. That's got some. Dress it up a little bit. All right, let's go check out, see what the Bureau wants with us. Trevor Martin! You know, I've been thinking about it, and I'm not quite sure if I'm ready to accept an apology. Where is my wife? Patricia doesn't want to speak to you. Frankly, neither do I. I will find you! Okay. Well, I'll put some coffee on then. I'll see you soon. What does this guy's sign say? This is the land America of... America is not for everybody. Ain't we made that clear now? Just for people like me! Go back home! Go back home! What are you doing? Expressing my God-given right to complain about things I don't like. Good for you. <laughs> so tell me, what do you think about the uh, Canadians? Canadians? The worst. The absolute worst. Worse than the Mexicans. I cannot stand me some Canadians. At least the Mexicans have the civility, no, the common decency to look different. You got a good point. I'll bear that in mind. Come on, punish me. America is for... The Americans! When my grandparents came here from Norway and Ireland and the Ukraine, they didn't imagine they'd have to share the place with Mexicans or anyone else for that matter. It just ain't right! Let's go, Cupcake! Oh. Yeah, we smacked this fucking wig off, chat. <laughs> We smacked this wig off, dude. Phillips to the rescue. The hell is that? I'm gonna get real close to you, big boy. Close your eyes and think ah! Paris. This might sting. Oh, no, no, not this again. They know what was going on. I how to aim down the scope.
gonna lie, GTA in first person looks pretty damn good. About to snitch, chat. Hey there. Hi. What's up? The hell? And this this kind of looks like the truck from the desert. Are you the guy? You kind of look like the guy. Hangers on like you are fucking up this country. I spared him, chat. I spared him. Let's cut him a little bit. Let's police go away. We just, we just cut him up. We just cut him a little bit, chat. Oh no, this our. Well, drug spot here. place you got here oh yeah it's easy to mock isn't it huh cheap and fucking easy <laughs> but uh this this here is my place and my work paid for my place all right relax i was just being sarcastic yeah well don't be all right because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm it's the blight of the age yeah i get the point you you don't get the point you're like every other asshole you made a bit of money and you became a turd i got news for you i was always a turd no you weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic, somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking hero. So far above it all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen, I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to uh, investigate a research lab upstate. 
It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. Boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, truck, weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend $2 million on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes. Woo. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now, remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, Jesus. Fucking Christ. All right. I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now, you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Get in the car. I don't understand how the how we even end up in this situation that bad. Like, these cops really got us. All well, these agency dudes. Funding problem, so we need a job before the jewel store. You talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there, Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. What? Wait, 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 wait. So we All gotta right, do let's a. Meet us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital and tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh. This Hayseed Bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you, you know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. Uh, in some ways you defy categorization. But then, what? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right, but why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. Damn. What? You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do! Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. 
Why, it'll be because I'm living out here, away from the bean machines and the bankers. You're gentrifying. Soon, the skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else, starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. You, Trevor, are the proto-hipster. <laughs> Throwing the fuck. Don't know what you're talking about. I don't agree with what you're saying. You're talking bullshit. You're trying to wind me up. But I'm very, very angry. And I want this conversation to stop right away. <laughs> Hipster. Fuck you! Fuck you, Michael! Say it again. I've made my point. I'm not a sadist. Mosa, thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Uh, at least you got revenge with John and RDR2, but Trevor's honor has forever been shamed. Get revenge, Trevor still walks. For oh, I know, I know that. I, that's why I tried to go back and find it, Mosa, but. But it seems like we got to steal money to go do something illegal for the government. That's at least what I'm tracking. Multam, hey, how you doing? Here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from LS? Come on, man, knock it off. What? Yeah. I'm gonna break your fucking fingers you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. <laughs> ah, finally. Hey. 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 Welcome to paradise. Come on, car's this way. Dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mark will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. <sighs> okay, let's take a look at this bank. I will go to the front of the bank, clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> Definitely a small town. No, sorry. I can't come out. Small bank, man. And that's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. It'll take us around back. Okay. We gotta get millions out of this place? There's an empty lot behind, and no one should pay attention to us back there. I like it. Man, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This'll do. Mm hmm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. Well, then we're gonna have to find a new score. No, no, no. Uh-uh. No. This is the score. Right? What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm. See what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey! You heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. Okay, I brought my police scanner to drive over to the gas station opposite the bank and we'll monitor chatter. All right. Dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby, and it isn't even 30 Victor shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Polito Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. And the alarm just went off on their piggy bank.
This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Yeah, four cars, more in the wings. Bad cops, garden dirty money. Fuck how many, we can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12, false alarm, possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not, we're still faster than your ass! Well, I'm not gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're going. Holy and if shit. we're in front of Trevor, he'll be the one running from the cops. Hey, not bad. I mean, I personally would try to find a different score. Okay, we got it. We're gonna come on, come on, come on, come on. But again, most of with the super chat, I appreciate it earlier, brother. It really means a lot. Yeah, I can't believe that. Uh, well, we don't know if that was like a RDR two situation that happened earlier, or if it was more of like he just kind of robbed us and. I thought it was going to be super epic, and uh, it wasn't, chat. We, uh, <laughs> we definitely took a lot of damage. We took all the damage. Actually, pretty impressive how Michael's keeping up with this. Most with another super chat. How Trevor walked after it tells you everything. Oh, jeez. And guys, thank you. We got over 550 likes on the stream. 
Again, I appreciate how much support you guys have been showing this series. Uh, and like I said, you know, you guys keep showing support. We're going to keep playing and potentially even check out the online stuff. Seems like there's a bunch of you guys interested in me uh, checking out the online, which will be a complete new experience. Get here. Oh, I wonder. What took you so long? <laughs> Jessica, thank you so much for the super chat. <clears throat> Set up a board over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, all right? Then you're going to be making the wrong decisions. Man, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. Uh, yo, bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a, a what? An eyelid. It's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? Oh, good. I'm going to stay here a minute longer than I have to. So I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military-grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. They'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice, choose someone good. So there's no other way to do this. It's, it's going loud. Uh, we can get Packy McCreary, though. That's our boy right there. Yeah, we're gonna go Packy, chat. I got a good feeling about him. That it? You sure? 100%, brother. I mean, it's not like you gave us much choice. That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm -hmm. you do what you do. Roger that. I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want to bunk with us? I mean, it's going to be tight, but, you know, me casa su casa. I, I'll get a motel. Thanks. All right, sure. Come on, I'll give you a ride. Okay. Adios, amigos. Hmm? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> 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 Franklin, buddy, what's up? Hey, look, there's these redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. I found where they stay, man, and I've been following them. 
Okay, well, it's gotta be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> What's left of them? I'll pick up Michael and we'll come to you. T, hey man! Oh shit. All right, we're gonna have to go, uh, heal up and armor up. Switch up Franklin. All right. Let me heal up, uh, Trevor, real quick. Get him some armor here. Hope you're gonna pay this time, Trevor. You hope what? F forget it. Just don't break anything or hurt me. The cheek of it. Maybe I'll pay, maybe I won't. We're two local businesses supporting each other, Melvin. I don't have to shop here. All the disreputable people smuggling guns into the country these days? Just be grateful for my patronage. Of course. Sorry, Trevor. Uh, Trevor's Mad Max car is on a military website. Jessica, thank you again for the super chat. And Trevor. If he's back in Sandy Shores, why didn't I hear about it? God damn it! Shit! They see us, man. We gotta stay on. That's right, Chop. We're going to fuck him up as soon as Trevor get here. Oh, does this start the mission? Hey, man, me and Chop own these punks. We're coming up to WH, north of Chuma. All right, all right. The O'Neill brothers are coming to us. I think they was about to send one of them anti-tank rockets into your Vespucci condo. When one of your roomies told them that you was gone. Okay, so if you're on the WH, that means you'll be coming through Ratton Canyon, right? Shit, I guess. Good. Me and MT are going to take the company chopper and meet you there. Company chopper, yes, Michael. It's a tax write-off. Frank, you still there? Yeah, I'm just about holding on to the road. We're taking the chopper and we'll head you off. Deal with these business stealing pricks on the road. Hey, dog, can you, like, get on it? Because these dudes is rolling home. We're five minutes out from the chopper. All right. I didn't let you shoot because I was like, dude, I could easily just get these dudes. The road. Shit, shit, shit. Look at you go, man! Look at you go! Oh, shit! <laughs> Trevor, man, shit, you there? There was a deer in the road, man. These motherfuckers crashed out. They crashed? They dead? No, nah, they gone. They ran into the fucking woods, man. I need air support, like, right fucking now. Don't worry. Incoming! Incoming? Man, you're all business. Yeah, well, this is kind of important. These men don't like me, and they know we're back in the sandy shore, so... Here she is, the Biz Alley. Remember, she ain't That's mine, a... she's the company's. The company chopper chat. Is that one that uh, we got from the police or the the agent? <laughs> Trevor went ahead and painted it. All right, here we go. Look, why do these guys, the O'Neills, want you dead anyway? There was a deal, a contract to end all contracts, serious multinational stuff. I was this close, and they stole it off me. If they stole your business, why do they want you dead? Wow! What's with all the questions? Can't you just take my side for once? 
But I sense your heart ain't in it. Yeah, I'm lucky my heart ain't in a pie on your kitchen table. Always with the quips. You're such a depressing cynic. Oh, poor Trevor. I'm sorry I'm a human being with thoughts and feelings and emotions. Wait a second. I remember this chopper. We used this to break into the IAA building. You stole it from the FIB? Not so. I took it in lieu of payment. There was a rifle on board, too, so if your panties aren't all in a twist over stolen office supplies, can you please use it to scan the forest for the O'Neills? Hey, hey! We here on the ground. Them hick dudes in the woods. That model's fitted with a thermal scope. Look for their heat signatures. Done, homie. All right, stay there. We'll come down and pick you up. All right, brother. killed all of them. The 
feel good, huh? Helping a friend in need? Come on, Chop. Come on. Oh, yeah. Taking out some hillbilly crank dealers on a blood feud. That's what I live for. Hey, Trev, man, we're gonna borrow this and head back to town. Sure. Come on, Michael, man. I'll drop your ass off on the way back. Chop, get in. See you back in Casa Phillips, Mike. Yeah, thanks for the warning. What about Madrazo? Okay, so we got that heist prep that we gotta do. All right, we need a car. Oh, here we go. So we only got to get the military grade weapons for this heist. That's the only prep. Again, guys, there it is. We got over 600 likes on the stream. Does the hell you have to be parked on the H? I don't think so because it's a unique character vehicle. Kind of like Franklin's motorcycle. Yo, stop. Come on, man. Can I get a ride, bro? Where? Out of the car now, or I'll blow your fucking brains out. This shit's mine. I don't teach you. Something or other. There it is. Exodus Gamer, thank you so much for the membership. Welcome to the family, brother. I appreciate it, man. Hey, happy with the raid, brother. Thank you, thank you. Welcome, everybody. I appreciate you guys for coming. To they gotta put up an animal crossing sign. Appreciate you guys for coming and hanging out. I appreciate the raid, man. See, the thing is, is that the prisoner got me because I seen him and I thought, oh, this is a potential heist member. No, not even, not even a little bit. <laughs> Andy, brother, with another five gifted. Seriously, man, you've done, you've done way too much, brother. Way too much, man. Out here showing mega love to the community. Uh, happy. I appreciate that, man. Everybody who's received one of those memberships today, hey, welcome to the fam. Uh, make sure you guys get those hearts in the chat. Andy's out here just showing so much love. And again, Exodus Gamer, uh, thank you for the membership, brother, and welcome. Oh, it's a moving target, okay. It's heading up that way.
Ah, look at that! You gotta love rural America! Is. Four stars. Trying to see if I can get under that bridge there, but that's not happening. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. That chopper's gonna see us.
Chopper's finally fucking down. Holy crap, man. Just for another one to show up. I tried to go into the mountains, but this thing doesn't traverse uh, elevation very well. Seriously, got no frickin' ammo. I'm gonna have to get out. Got it, holy shit. 
Oof. I just hope that broke your goddamn neck. It's actually not that easy to get away with the slow ass truck when you got helicopters ahead to you. So you guys saying shoot the tail rotor, but I was hitting that. I was trying to hit the pilot, thinking I could just drop the plane instantly, but yeah, I wasn't having it. Shooting the tail rotors faster than trying to kill the pilot. No, yeah, that I, I caught them right as they were about to go in the gate of that military base. I was like, woo. That probably would have been a lot more stressful trying to take it out or get to it once it was in that base. Use the chopper with the mat. Yo, that's actually pretty smart. Just go and pick it up. I think this was the only prep we had to do for that heist, right? Trevor needs some ammo big time. Right, there it is, military heart. I didn't hit a dog. BS. It was a coyote. See? Or a rabbit. It wasn't even a, a dog or a coyote. Yeah, it was a coyote. Lester the molester, bro. We got ourselves some military hardware. It's parked out back in my office. All right, we might be ready to move on this thing. Meet me up in the lab. No, it was a coyote, guys. They're actual vermin. Talk to any farmers that live out, you know, in coyote country, and they got their chickens and their stuff getting killed. Like, yeah, coyotes are terrible. Like, really, really bad. To heal up at a vending machine? Yo. Trevor really just owns like a store chat with no. No nothing in it. Just booze. Yeah, why I'll take this thing pretty up. 
It's, it's, it's not inappropriate. It's... It's another one of your fucking disasters. That's what it is. It, first you take a hostage against my advice, and then you start some kind of crazy high school romance with her. Are you nuts? She's... She's a 60-year-old housewife. Ah, she's 57. And she thinks that I'm mature. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. 30 years of marriage to the world's angriest mob boss ah. would make anyone insane. You're not making my situation any easier. Oh, there's a surprise. I knew it would become about you. I miss my family. Oh, you're full of shit. All you ever did was ignore them. And now that they're gone, you miss them. Fucking incredible. I'll tell you what's incredible. Fucking incredible. Hey. You mother... Hey! Why? No! You got me out here. You wrote me into your crazy world of bullshit. If it was lies, new age shit, and arguments about how good life used to be, I could have stayed my ass in Los Santos. Hello, Franklin. What's up? All right. Here's the shot. We're going to Palato Bay. We're going to do this thing. Any questions? Comments? Yeah. I miss Brad. That crazy motherfucker was with us now. He would have loved this. Instead, he's got to enjoy himself molesting white-collar criminals in a federal penitentiary. Thanks for sharing. Anybody else? What about me? You'll be waiting for them by the river, handling the getaway. All right. Now, these three go in, they grab the tape, they rendezvous with you, and you get out of there. Is that a work for everyone? Great. Let's go. Packy! Holy shit, floppy brother with the raid, man. Thank you, thank you. Out here showing that mega love, brother. I Come appreciate on. the we support. Score to take. I hope you're having a good day today, man. Everybody that came over uh, with Floppy, hey, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I appreciate you all being here. We're about to go uh, rob a bank, actually, right now. And we almost got 700 likes on the stream, guys. There it is. You ever hit a bank before, Franklin? Yeah, I was the driver on the job my boy Lamar pulled. Guess it's the same kind of shit we doing now, right? Nice, bro. What was the take? Shit, I don't know, man. I can't remember. Come on. Everyone remembers their first score. She, not me. Huh, Mikey, bro, what was your first bank score? 88, outskirts of Carcer City. Took a small franchise for 10 G. Yeah, things were easier back then. 10 G's? Yeah, 25 years ago. Jesus! Risking it all for $10,000? No. Generic goon! What was your first bank score? You know what? My first job ain't that interesting. I think I was spotting for my brother's scores in junior high. Back in. What is interesting is my biggest job, the Bank of Liberty City. Ah, shit, yeah. I heard you were part of the crew that took that down. I ran the crew. It was me, my brother Derek, God rest his soul, my pal Michael, God rest his soul, and another boy, Nico, who's probably dead too. They're all dead. Must have been jinxed, huh? All I know is I live to tell the tale. Oh, what I... Uh, can you do the 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 hamburger patty with the sausage patty, babe, with the cheese, and then just ketchup and uh, mayo? Probably make up like two. If, if you if we got enough uh, patties, two of those. We went in. My pal Michael gets shot. I take down the hero who did it. Then we blow the vault, take the money, and meet half the LCPD coming out. The cops are outside. They're in the street, down the alleys. They're in the subway. We just keep moving and shooting. Dude, moving and shooting. Fucking idiot. Climbed out the subway, found a car, and we were away. I, Sounds like I played that right mission. Bring along on this. Let's just hope we ain't jinxed as well. Hey, your turn to share, kid. I told you I don't remember the details, man. Leave him alone, Trevor. This is an important moment, Michael. Here we are, on our way to almost certain death, bonding. Pouring our hearts out, and this guy is sitting here, soaking it up and giving nothing in return. Hey, if he don't remember... If he don't remember? I'm supposed to trust this man with my life, and he don't trust me with the details of his first bank job? Well, how about you? Why don't you share with the group? I'm here. I'll back the facts. The check's cash place? I went in, took him for eight grand, walked out. Yeah. <laughs> It was a bit more complicated than that, though, wasn't it, T? Maybe I knew the guy. Maybe he ID'd me. Maybe you did six months. Maybe I was out in four, and that children is why we don't leave witnesses. That children is why you don't rob people that you know. <laughs> Thank you, babe.
Ah, oh. Franklin, Cher. Yeah, come on, kid. It can't be worse than Trevor's. All right, man, shit. Okay, the score was like two stacks, man. 2G, take home on your first gig? Fuck, that ain't bad, man. Man, the whole score was two stacks. Only I didn't see none of that shit. Dive pack went off, homie. Money was useless, then. Dive pack? <laughs> you amateur! I knew I shouldn't have told you shit. Hey, Franklin, we all gotta start somewhere. The die pack? Next time I tell your ass something. Ow, oh, come on. <laughs> Don't be so cold, man. Learn to laugh at yourself. You're in danger of turning into this man. Who, me? Yeah, you. Wouldn't laugh, wouldn't hang out. Uh, I've got my work. I've got my life. I never the truth shall meet. If we're risking our asses, we gotta be family. How about that, die pack? All right, Frank. We're gonna drop you up here, okay? When you hear it kick off, get ready because we're gonna want to go ASAP. I'm gonna get away, man. I'll do it. Bam. All right, you know where you gotta be? I got it down. I'll bring a die pack just for you. Damn, that's a really nice car for this area. We ready for this? I could use a restroom break. And risk getting ID. You're an idiot. I gotta go. It's number two. Yeah, we'll pinch it off. I'll go in the bank. I got a baggie. All right, we all good? Let's hit them. I'm ready. Let's go. All right, Packy, let's do it. On the floor. Unless you got shares in this bank, you don't gotta worry. Today's going one of two ways, friends. Everyone on the floor, now. You and you, out from behind the counter. That's it, hands in the air. Em, keep an eye on our trusted employee. Okay, you got the crowd. Cops should be here soon, so keep an eye out. Just try it. Get over here, Em. Door should go in if you kick it. Time to meet this alarm guy. Fucking shoot him. Yeah, not if I get to him first. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Stay back! We got hostages! <laughs> Tell the sheriff the 211 is confirmed. We're gonna need everything we got down here. <laughs> Sheriff's here. We never could have beaten that response. There's other ways of beating it. Move in! Call up procedure! I don't care if they surrender. I'm killing me some bad guys. Now let the hostages go, and uh, we'll talk like gentlemen. Eight Time million dollars? Music. <laughs> Sweet mother of shit. You humorless prick! Team, down the bird! Hit, hit. Look out, it's coming down! It's coming! Nice work, Team! Thank you! Now, let's get the fuck out of here! Incoming! Crooked assholes on the way! I'm moving! <laughs> Time to go! Come on! Over there! It wouldn't be a bank job if we didn't run into some friendly police resistance, would it? Don't fence me in. Go through the fence. Kill that punk. Lay down your weapon. Hey, Frank. We need another escape route. Can you find a vehicle? Something that might stand up to gunfire. There's some construction around the way. Alright. Stay in cover! We go right through them, gentlemen. 
Kid, I got the armor. He's a real deal, John. Hey, there's a bunch of pranks heading your way. I'll see what I can do to them. 
Any help we can get. There's some guys coming our way. Packy's trying to hold them. Might give us a chance to hit the train. Hey, let's get that train. Keep it under control. Just hold them back. We ain't got long. The train. The train. It's our only shot. This is it! Let's go! Let's hop the train! Come on! It's here! Let's go! Let's go! Last call! Could be our only way out of here! This is it! Let's go! Good call on the switch. Let's go. Yo. Uh, easy, easy. I'm a friendly. Agent Sanchez. Our very own corrupt G-man in training. You gotta be careful, buddy, all right? Because they are uh, looking around these trains for illegals. And if you're mistaken, you'll be shot, amigo. Very amusing. Yeah, if you expecting them two to bring you up, you're gonna be disappointed, homie. Right back at you. Got the money? Everything we got. Okay. And here's your cut. Considering present scrutiny on public worker remuneration, this is a big win. Oh yeah, that's a huge fucking win. Woo! Monsters. I'm out. Agent Haynes will get in touch with you once Operation Save the Worlds ago. Catch your crew together, okay? Fucking punk. All right. We should probably split up. They're gonna be looking for a three. Oh, the blood we spill for the security of this country. Come on, Franklin. Wait, so out of that eight mil, we didn't really get anything? Man, I'll holler at you, home. Right. See, Bill. Serious. Uh, EQ, thank you so much for the donation. I really appreciate it, man. First time I've had uh, disposable money in a long time. Channel's grown about seven times since I uh, first came to chat. Uh, when I had more time, I found. A lot of enjoyment here. Hey, EQ, I'm glad that you're enjoying it here. Seriously, I appreciate the support, man. It means a lot. Oh, we got a little bit, chat. We got a little bit. Probably, what, a couple hundred grand? Yeah, so Michael made out pretty good. Yeah, not bad. I mean, the, the, the crazy thing, though, is um, I thought we were going to get way less than that. Like, I thought the government's... But, I mean, realistically, got a $7 million. Yeah, they, 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 they definitely screwed us. <laughs> they definitely screwed us. The thing. Hell, it was just down the freeway. Trevor about? He's probably out somewhere drinking human blood or eating household pets. <laughs> He's not that bad. Really? Well, okay, he is pretty bad. But he's got a sensitive side. Oh, yes, he's very sensitive. When he gets his feelings hurt, he's devastated. So what's your story? I ain't got a story. I'm an independent thinker. Living out here, away from the man. From what I can tell? You're like a high school athlete, living off old glories. You used to be able to manage heat, and now you're worried if your loafers are getting scuffed. 
Any more bullshit comes out of your mouth, you're gonna learn all about my past glories firsthand. You understand? <laughs> Absolutely, sir. That came out wrong, all wrong. Ron was trying to be a tough guy. The monthly train is coming through. What monthly train? The monthly train. Where have you two been? Getting some fresh air. Talking of beautiful things. Yes, I hear Stockholm Syndrome is very nice this time of year. Hey, watch your mouth, boy, all right? It's always been a dream of ours. The train of dreams. What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about gold. Enough to keep Ron in trailers and you in therapy. Enough so that we can pay off that Mexican and get you back in town, oh. baby! Yeah! Oh, this better be fucking good! Oh. Oh. Thank you, thank you. Oh. Another donation. Man, you don't have to read this out loud. This hygiene thing before, bro. I invite you into my home. This is how you repay me? It's like living with a fucking horny skunk. There it is. Get a boat! Easiest math you'll ever learn. Seven times seven times seven equals three, four, three. How is that easy? I appreciate the love, brother. Seriously, thank you so much. EQ, Keep that means a lot, brother. Bridge. I'll be on the earpiece. And I also want to thank all the new subscribers to the channel. Welcome. I appreciate the love and the support you guys are showing. And now you know. <laughs> thank you, man. And right, we're going to go jump onto a train. All right, so I'm taking a car to steal a boat, stick up a train, and get some gold. That's about the size of it. Make it a fast boat. Ah, the logistical mind of Trevor Phillips. So it's like gold bricks on board, right? Sometimes. This is a high-value courier service run by <laughs> Merriweather. Oh, Merriweather? Tranquilo, Mike! This ain't a weapons train. It's goods too valuable to insure for air travel train. Gold. Sometimes gold. Sometimes our work. Priceless antiquities. Sometimes enough for you, me, Ron, everyone. Fine. Like a mirage in the desert. Here's my train. Tugga, 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 tugga. Mike, oh yeah, another thing for your shopping list. We'll need some bombs. Okay, I'll pick them up when I'm back in the trailer. Back in the trailer? Where are you? We got work to do. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why I'm getting changed. Wow, oh, 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 getting changed? What if, what have you turned into? All aboard! Ugh. Ugh. Why am I why am I like this chat? Like why do why was I born this way? I I don't understand it sometimes. Don't even laugh, Chad. It's not funny. Choo, choo. I already know you guys are fucking sitting there laughing. Oh, oh. Dude, why wasn't he doing this before? There's a new conductor on this train. You on the water? 
Sure, just caught a fish. Let me know when you need me. Got it? Eat it? Be under that fucking bridge. When we go past Polito Station, whole of Merriweather's gonna be on to us. We've been rerouted! Sorry! Em! Em, I ain't far out! You under the bridge! Approaching the inlet now! I'm powered through to the bridge! I'm living the life, my friend. This is quite a spot you pick. Enjoy it now, because it's about to start raining fire. Get your ass in there, Mikey! I'll be as quick as I can be. I gotta run a fucking salvage operation in here. Merryweather fleet's here, bro! You're taken? You want to die in a government holding facility? Find something and go! I ain't struck gold or art or anything yet! Hold them off! We can't hang around here! Let's move it! I'm looking! I'm looking! Shoot regiment turns up. Speed it up. Grab something. Let's go. Hey. hey, you sure about this cargo, man? I gotta keep looking. I don't know how to turn the thermals on, chat. I was pushing the buttons, and none of them were working, so I just... I just decided to shoot. Merryweather recovery teams arrive! It can't be this hard to find treasure in the magical train. I ain't found nothing good yet. They got shooters on the track. Hey, your rifle's got a thermal scope, right? Use it and find those shooters before they find me. Come on! 
Come on, come on, let's get out of here! Snipe! Where's her down? Don't let that keep you! They're parachuting in now! Change clothes. You couldn't have done this without that weird vest thing. Chopper, right behind us. You feeling alive? He came with Choose another donation, brother. Thank plans. you so much, man. My plans are just fine. Without the Seriously, I appreciate you. Exploding helicopters and sinking boats. Aiden, how you doing, brother? It's good to see you, man. Come on. We need to get on land. Pull her up down the coast. Whoa, man. You work hard for your living. Boil it down for me. How much you think you make for a census of killing, huh? Couple nickels? Times are tough. Have been since we put you in the ground. Hey, you had your savings. That I couldn't access because you blew the identities. You know, there was nothing for Brad's defense. Ron organized some transport for us. Oh. Is in hers, huh? Because of your independent spirit. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, before you go, show me the loot. All right. It's perfect. Perfect for fucking what? For squaring things with that Mexican psycho. We give him this, and you end your relationship with that little lady. Maybe we won't beat Deadman in Los Santos. I don't fucking see that Silicon City again. It'll be too soon. But this is my job, not your call to make. No, no, your job. Fuck things up with the Mexican to begin with. My job, my score, get your own! Wait, you give me that case, I'll give you something bigger. What? Union Depository. Fuck off. Can't be done. I never said impossible. Just very difficult. Virgin suicidal? That a line you're afraid to cross? Come on, T. You remember the dreams? I appreciate you, Aiden. Couple kids pulling jobs. The big one. I know it sounded crazy back then, huh? But hey, you and me together again. With Lester and Franklin on board. We can do this thing, T. This ain't no dream no more. Nah. You keep the case. Fuck me. Okay, hey! All right. Here. Keep that silly fucking thing. And you can keep Patricia as well, all right? Because I respect that lady and I ain't gonna hold her back. <sighs> Thank you. Just remember, I'm gonna be keeping my eye on you every day. 
inch of the way, all right? Of course. And if that bastard fucking cheats on her one more time, mm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, you know, Trevor, we both know you're not the marrying kind. Yo, Trevor yeah. actually kind of cares about it's her. great to be back in business, huh? Let's bring it on. The big one! The big one! That's what he said, baby? That he's gonna do him? How? You still never called that place out in Syracuse. Hello? Townley's on the line, too. Hey, Trev. All right. I need your whole crew <laughs> over at Cape Catfish. We're moving on the chemical weapons plant. Nah, 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 nah. I just gave something to Lester. I need to deal with some stuff, get back to Los Santos. Just, uh, give me a week. We got the equipment with your Polito money. The gangbanger's already on the way. The window's open, my friend, and you are jumping out of it. Shit. Shit! Los Santos ain't going anywhere, bud. So they want to hit the Union Depository. Is that like... Like, what is that? Like, I don't, I don't know. Is it Big Bank? It's the big one. <laughs> hey, guys, think we got almost 800 likes. Oh, it's like hitting the Federal Reserve. Oh, wow. Okay. That's big, big. The Bank of Banks. So, so how do you say, um, first of all, uh, seek and destroy. Thank you for the gifted. I really appreciate you out here showing the love. So how do we say the big one in Spanish? El grande uno. Or el uno grande. Cause you know, how sometimes they like flip the, it's just el grande. <laughs> That's it? It's just El Grande? Oh. Or so how do how do how do we say the big one in French? There's gotta be some there's gotta be some French speakers in the chat, right? <laughs> Le big one Le big one <laughs> That's too funny. Send out a cab post haste. Stay where you are. I got a driver right around the corner. That'll work. <laughs> Le Grande. <laughs> Wait, so they use the word they use grande too? That's so crazy. Oh, there it is. Ooh, let's not step out in front of traffic. Damn, how do they have a whole ass truck in the back of their truck? So, where do you want to go? Bro, do you not see what's happening? Turn around and look! This guy's pissing me off. 
He's stoic, chat. He's not having it. He's like, I'm dedicated to my job. Come on! Sanchiansky Mountain Range. That's the ride, my man. Stoic, chat. All right, we got a big mission here, guys. Is this... A this is the big, uh, the big one for the FIB, right? All right, give me a sec. Give me a sec, guys, and then we'll jump in and do this one. And I, I want to thank you guys for almost 800 likes on the stream. Give me one sec. All right, let's do it. Have a fucking thing. Hey, that's fucked up, man. What's going on, ladies? Hello, Trevor. What kept you? Business, Michael. Business. Uh, All right. I'm the CEO of a big international corporation. It's very time-consuming. Nothing, of course, you'd understand, being a gentleman of leisure. Uh -huh. You know, you know, Franklin, <laughs> if there's one thing that you're gonna learn from being around us... Please just... fucking insanity. Then they can't fry you. If you want something done, go to the busy man. This rich fuck is useless. Uh -huh. oh, oh, hold on, man. Can y'all knock this shit off? Oh, look! Boys, your boys, it's the feds. Hey, where's the other three? What other three? We told you to bring along six. This is a six-man job. No, you didn't. You Dave did? No, Dave didn't. You said you'd do it. That is a freaking lie. I do not get things wrong. All right, great. Then we're out of here. Uh, 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 fuck uh, 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 it. Let's go. You three can do it alone. And I fuck you. You do your own dirty work. Hey, I do my dirty work every day, keeping the country safe from scum like you. And you're doing a great job, sir. Hey, you want this job done? Then come with us, huh? Come on, come on, Mr. Leisure Wear, Mr. Depressed Accountant. Let's go save America. Who the fuck are we saving it from this time? This is the real deal. 
My sources are convinced there's a plot in international affairs, you know, the agency, and they're using this facility to make a serious nerve toxin. Ah, <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. Michael, Which thank you so much for the super chat, brother. Blowing insanity to let a major terrorist release on a metropolitan area so they can continue to get funding. Nothing increases funding for fighting terrorism more than successful acts of terrorism. <laughs> so, so, all right, so let me get this straight then. No, 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 You're... no, 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 no. There is no getting it straight. That's the point. Now we're doing this. You two are on getaway. Fuck off and make it happen. Michael, you're with us. Is this a cool mission, chat? What size flipper you wear? Agent Norton, been a while since you were in the field. The sight of you in neoprene is something we save for our worst enemies. Shut up, I'll be fine. And you, get in. You're driving. Go down the coast. The they got us tanked up. Click south of us. Listen to me, Steve. No wisecracks, got it? No fucking cliches. We're fighting for the freedom of the people today. Don't lecture me on patriotism. You've been living outside the system too long. Social responsibilities, a joke to you. So maybe I redeem myself, get killed in the process, huh? That old bullshit. No one is dying on my watch. Not even the burnout bank robber with temper issues and nothing to live for. A hero's death is too good for you. You'll die in the ignominy you deserve. Oh, thank God. Fate shall carry me safe through these selfless acts of charity. This is the bay. We can get in through the discharge tunnel. Here goes. What, are we on some straight Navy SEAL shit? Yep, legit. There it is. Good. We're a hundred yards out. 
Ah, I feel like I'm giving a colonoscopy to the Statue of Happiness. Nice change from being up Trevor Phillips' ass all day. You feel that? Water's getting warmer. You wet your pants, Davey? This is a cooling tunnel. Of course it's getting warmer. No one urinated. Uh, I know for a fact that that ain't true. This is a pretty cool mission. I do not remember the this mission at all when I played this game. Is I only get to know the criminals who are dumb enough to get themselves caught. Yeah, only I wasn't caught, remember? I turned myself in. He makes a point. That makes you doubly dumb. I'm starting to think when I played GTA 5 back when it first came out, um, that I never ended up beating it. There's a lot of stuff towards like the end of this game that are comp like sometimes like I'll play something and then after the fact I'm like oh yeah I kind of I kind of remember that I have no I, like the past like I don't even remember that small town heist. I mean it might just be a, the fact that I haven't played the game in you know ten years, but I don't remember half of this any of this shit. I feel like I would remember some Navy SEAL type shit. Uh, uh, oh, huh? We ready? I was born ready. Let's do this. Come on, Dave. What's the plan? Hey, hey, hey. We locate the toxin and action our escape strategy. That's what we got. Great. Lead the way. Bank robber, your job is to keep this covert and non-lethal as long as you can. Dave, you're on point. I'm leading from the rear. And Michael, you're on stun gun duty. Hands up, you, now. Against the wall, quick. Can we go? Hands where I can see him. Drop your piece. Yo, who are you? Zap him, Michael. I was trying, dude. Okay. Now hit the elevator. So what exactly does a neurotoxin look like? You're on a need-to-know basis, bank robber. Shut it. Elevator's coming down. Someone's on board. Out, out! Ah. Grab the card. Oh, was, was I not supposed to shoot him in the face? All right, we go. How you feeling about this? I'm feeling pretty damn fine. Yeah, if only your camera crew was here. Eyes right. Stay on top of this. Clear. Let's go. You see the lab geeks? I don't want trouble from these two. Yeah. We gotta keep moving. Corridor goes around to the left. Don't sit there. Bring it to them. Behind the wall. Security detail about to make a pass. They're on us. Make a judgment call. I dare you. Just a little pinprick. What can a pinprick do? Ask the monkey. Go on. A tiny amount on your hand. <laughs> okay, we're clear. Swipe us in. Come on. There's a lab rat in with the toxin. Let's do this. Gore, now. Who are you people? He's got the locking system overridden from in there. Wait, someone's coming. I got this. Warning. Warning. 
There it is. Here we go. Get her on ice before the sell by. Okay, steady. Ah, easy does it, Em. Just as I was getting used to having the apocalypse in my pocket. There you go. Phillips is on his way. Good. Get this thing ready to move. I'm just a couple clicks out. Is the package ready? Package is ready. Get over here, man. I can't believe they spent the tank from the Polito job on this chopper! It's a flying pig rig! And we need a flying pig rig right now. Well, red smoke marking LZ. Smoke's actually blinding me. Relax. We missed the window. HC response team's already in the building. It's never too late. We're going. Let's go. It's too risky, Bandito. That bird goes down and takes half the West Coast with it. You know what? If you're done puking up excuses, how about we come up with a solution? Okay, okay. All right, yeah, you go. I'll stay in cover. Fuck it. Fine by me. And the dead bodies. I'm lucky I'm not one of them. Come on. Let's go. Yo, my man is sick. <laughs> oh, oh FIB, special agent, I got discovered. Detain this man. Fuck you, I should detain you. I just took a bullet from my country. Go, go, go. Pull us up. What happened back there? Where's Agent Haynes? Don't tell me we suffered casualties. Only self-inflicted ones. Fucking guy shot himself so he could pass as a double agent. Ah, well, Pretty hardcore. Maybe him with a 12-inch aluminum flashlight. Haynes took the easy way out. We're the ones hoping we'll outrun the agency response team. I think Franklin's the one taking the easy way. Guy's got his feet up in an aircraft hangar. Look, let's just get to the airport so we can finish this bullshit. When you drop us, I'll take the nerve agent. Mr. Phillips. Can I trust you to dispose of the chopper? 
I got more important things to worry about messing around with this stupid chopper. Like things that actually mean something. Not made up wars, but made up enemies. Matters of the heart. Is he fucking with me? Probably not. Chris! I'm not gonna lie, guys. Flight school was was clutch. Hey, Frank. It's cracking, man. So the chemical weapon in there, right? If it even is a chemical weapon, hell, it could be shaving cream for all I know. By the way, next time you're getting wet. Oh, but there won't be a next time, will there, Davy? There never is. I'm doing my best for you. I always try. Yeah, well, maybe this time we'll get lucky. Maybe this time Steve will succumb to the strains of enhanced interrogation techniques. Interrogate him? Are you insane? They're probably decorating him right now. Hey, Davey, your boys at the agency are on to you, remember? Huh? You and Stevie. Just try and keep your heads down. Yeah, putz. Who's this? Oh, fucking A. Yes! What's up, man? My days in the wilderness are over. Lester, he settled up with that crazy Mexican motherfucker. Gave him the artifact. <laughs> now, as long as Trevor handles the wife, we're good. But what about him, man? Yeah, fuck him. He likes the desert. Besides, we do one big score, we're all gonna have to go our own separate ways anyway. Oh, man. I can't wait to get back to that movie studio. <laughs> Yo, all right, man. Well, shit, I'll holler at you later then, all right? What a shit show. I'll tell you what, you could take this desert and stick it. My life may be a world of pain, but from here on out, it's going to be cool, comfortable, air-conditioned pain. <laughs> take it easy. I had a wonderful time, Trevor, but we both know I made a vow to my husband. <laughs> I know! You have a great pain inside. What? You, but you are a beautiful man. I've never been so happy, so sad in my life. You have a beautiful way with words. There's no, there's no reason. There's everyone I love abandons me. I am not abandoning you. I am going home. You street you! I know. I know. Damn, chat. How's he gonna do my man Trev like that? No. Stay. You better treat her right, man! I will, amigo! Otherwise... The other ear! Of course! The way I see things, you and me and Michael, we're, we're friends now. Good friends! Such good friends that we will make a great effort to avoid one another. That's fucking perfect. Uh, thank Michael for this statue. It is exquisite. Yeah. Yeah, I will.
There it is. Yo, Trevor has that man scared. That just goes to show what kind of monster Trevor really is. Like, straight monster. Let's see Forrest's front door here. <laughs> Let me see here. I better get a government pension for this shit. <laughs> Let me see here. Mark Franklin's house. So Franklin's got quite a bit of cash right now. Um... We'll probably look at doing the uh, some of the assassination missions and kind of just snowball all of our characters' cash. We'll be we'll be sitting real nice. Yeah, I could buy it. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna snowball my cash. So like, I figure like if I do a, uh, an assassination mission, right? Invest all my money that all my characters have. Do the mission, and then, you know, collect. And then do it again, and then just do that and snowball our money every single assassination mission. Um, I feel like we'll be, we'll be sitting pretty damn nice. Michael, no, nah, Michael's family left him. I did see Michael got a message. I should have checked the phone to see what she said. But yeah, I feel like once we snow, we start snowballing the money, we'll be, we'll be good. You know, after Michael's cars, dude, I'm looking at Franklin's and I'm like, I mean, I love Franklin's starter car, but Michael's really got some, some nice cars. If you make both investments each mission, you'll six times your money. That's crazy. The multi-target assassination. I don't know which one is next. Does anybody cuz does anybody know what, for me what Lester mission is next? We already, we did the um, pharmaceutical one, I think, was the one we've done so far. The multi-target assassination, that, that one's next? Okay. Yeah, that's that's what we'll look into, and then that's what we'll look into. But we're gonna end this episode here, chat. We got our we we hit that four hour mark. Um, I had a great time. We got a lot done. We got quite a few uh big missions done. I don't know how much more of the story we have left. Uh, you know, and I know they said that they're gonna be working on the big one, um, El Grande, or in French, Le Grand or Le Big One. So I don't I don't know how much is is left when it comes to the actual story, but next mission we're gonna start off the stream 
probably just cleaning up. Uh, you know, we'll do some of Lester stuff. Um, we'll do some of the Stranger and Freaks missions. I want to make sure we check those out, and then uh, yeah, then we'll, we'll. I guess we'll start working on the big one. And Jonathan with the two months, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And guys, yeah, we got over eight hundred. We got over eight hundred and fifty likes on the stream. I appreciate that so much. About seventy percent through the story. All right, we got a couple. I'm hoping that we get a couple more streams. I'm, I'm not in any rush to beat this by by any means. Uh, EQ. I also I seen I I um, missed another donation. Uh, it says maybe twenty four forty three would have been reduced uh, the processing fee by four <laughs> times, but uh, that's not what I was up to. Uh, YouTube is asking for twelve or thirteen bucks a month for uh, like some cash go directly to my favorite streamers. I appreciate that EQ. I I really do, brother. I thanked you, man, but I didn't properly read it, man. I I didn't properly read it, so I, I wanted to make sure. That, uh, you took your time to type that out, man, and say something kind to me. So, yeah, I'm going to take the time to read it, brother. So, thank you. I appreciate the love. I appreciate the support. Uh, you guys came out in force tonight. Again, showing love to GTA. Uh, but yeah, more coming. And like I said, once we beat the main story, if you guys are still enjoying the, and you want to see more, we're going to start GTA Online. Um, and I'm going to be playing that in a more controlled way environment i guess you could say uh we'll see we'll see um maybe we'll see how toxic online could be and if, if it's real bad then i'll jump in and do uh invite only sessions but um i know a lot of the heists and stuff like that can be done multiplayer so just so you understand when if, if it's a multiplayer heist and it requires me to have like i don't know four or five however many people i will be inviting you guys from the chat to play with me directly so uh, if you guys do want to partake in that and you know you want you you guys want to do the the heist and stuff whatever if it really if it requires multiplayer i'll, I'll do it and I'll, I'll be doing it with you guys so so i'm excited for it i'm excited chat uh but again i just wanted to thank everybody uh if you guys have it on your way out, a smash that like button. All the new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I appreciate it. Uh, and if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet, hey, consider it. It really, really does help out. If not, hey, it is what it is. I appreciate you uh, just being here watching all the same. It means a lot. So you guys have a great rest of your night. I will be doing another stream. Uh, but if you will not be over there, uh, you have a great rest of your night. I'll be streaming some Metal Gear Solid Five. We got some MGS5. We got we to get another amazing open world game. Uh, so I'll be doing that here in a little bit. Uh, so again, thank you guys. I love you all. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.